What has DJ Academics been doing? I'm asking y'all. Have y'all been keeping up with DJ Academics? At least it seems like he's been watching poetic Flacco videos, nigga. It feels like since the beef, I just have not been watching nearly as much DJ Academics since the Kendrick Lamar and uh. What is happening in hip hop? He, he has been pushed in front of your face. Because he's, I mean, he's been streaming. He's been talking about I guess stuff. The you top, gotta understand. I feel like it lasted too long. You got to understand. On that side. You got to understand how you view academics. There's people who come to what he has to say every fucking day. You only give a fuck when it's a story being broke. You go to academics Big when story. you need them. So you still, y'all been consistently watching him? No, I, so I'm, so? I'm just like you. I go oh, to okay, academics okay. when I need to because mm-hmm. I don't care about, like, you know, what he thinks about frivolous bullshit. But when it's a big story going on, yeah. it's some Drake versus Kendrick, or it's like somebody shot again and he got the information, that's when I'm tuning in. But I feel like and before, that's when we see the big spikes. I feel like before Drake versus Kendrick, I was tuned into the frivolous shit. True. What's some examples of the frivolous shit? Um, go to his page real quick. Go to his YouTube. Him and his girl, things of that nature. Honestly, I literally put DJ as DJ Academics as a subject and like what has he been doing? <clears throat> because I don't <laughs> Lonzo's me is the first thing we see. Um because I'm like, I just, for some reason, I just haven't wanted to click on any of these fucking videos. You know what I'm saying? Frivolous shit would be. Oh, I see why 100 face. Uh, uh, yeah, like yeah, I'm skipping that cool. one. Speaks on the trap. Blah, 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 what happened? Jesus. Uh, uh, let's see. Go down. Clubhouse, yeah, talking about Clubhouse, Dream Chasers, I don't give a fuck about. These are frivolous things that I might I would have clicked on before the beef, I think. Yeah. The White Party, I didn't click on that because I didn't care. Wait, go back up. That title says... Uh, I didn't even tune in during the main, Julio Fulio thing. Main Chaser Academics reacts to Meek Mill looking very happy at, um, I'm assuming, Michael, Michael Rubin. Michael, Michael Rubin's White Party. First yeah. of all, that sounds like it's funny. Sounds like he's about to be clowning, clowning Meek Mill for having a good time. I mean, and, and the view's looking right. I don't know, he's not falling. I'm not saying he fell off. Mm. I'm just wondering what he's doing. If and I, I'm trying to figure out why. None of this really it. matters to you, though. Why you say that? Because you didn't watch it. But it mattered before, in a way, is what he's saying. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So what do you think? Is it you? It sounds like you've changed. Or the, <laughs> the way he covered that might have... <sighs> the perception. Reversed. It was like, too much, bro. It hurt him in a way. It was too much, bro. I don't think... You heard his voice too many times? No, it felt like. Uh, you think you got tired of it? I feel like he. Mil- I feel like he dragged the Drake. Like once he had the nigga up there to to do the buying the streams, I was like, okay, we have got to stop talking about this at this point. The, uh, he overstayed his welcome a little bit. Nah, I think shit. I think people put him in a place where he didn't even ask to be. He was just doing academics thing, and that's commented on public events, you know, current events, things of that nature, and. Byproduct of him being the best at that, people just put him at this level where you know he like he was going to be able to keep that up, or he was going to be the Joe Budden of you know whatever this is. And I think we've been mad at other people. I think we've just been mad at other people. Like <laughs> Adam has been giving us some reasons to hate media niggas to where we not like if you're not doing anything blatantly wrong in the moment. I guess he's just kind of floating by right you now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of, like, who else have we covered in the last couple of episodes that did something stupid? That did something stupid? Yeah. In Nothing. media. It's sad to have been did a couple y'all, Did people. y'all watch Academics, bef- like, frivolous shit before? I feel, like you, I feel like you and I watched it at a pretty consistent... I mean, it's I feel like, like we kind of watch it around the same amount. I feel like I watch academics. Like I didn't, we didn't watch every drop, but we watched at least one to two clips. At least one clip a day. It felt like it, if I smoked black and miles, I would imagine it's like it's like that same. Like I need a hit every now and then. You know what I mean? It's just mm. like you know, a couple times a week. You don't feel like your frequency of watching has fallen off. I think it stayed the exact same. Yeah. And especially during this whole hip hop beef, right. it just got it was pushed in front for everybody, of everybody, of course. It, mm-hmm. I didn't even have a choice. It just got pushed in front of me on Twitter. Yo, it was one of them things to where it's like it was so white hot that I, I don't know if you are like subconsciously expecting that. But that only happens like once every five years. But Some shit of that magnitude. I do feel like AJ feels though, because I used to watch academics more before the beef as well. How old were y'all when you first started watching academics? Does that not play a role too? 
I don't. When did you, I was when did, I was personally late. When I, I started watching him uh, during Everyday remember. Struggle. Yeah, because I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I like missed 20, the war shot rack completely. Damn, so. that's late. Yeah, it was late. I mi- I was watching him before Everyday Struggle, but I didn't. I missed the war in Chirac completely. I came on the back end of the war in Chirac. Oh, okay. So I was definitely post war in Chirac. I'm not that early of a. But how old were you when you were watching it? I don't know. When was like young twenties? Bro, I don't fucking know. Because I feel like that. Yeah, just, that very, I feel like it plays early. a role in that. Like I was watching way more Breakfast Club, like just like news, hip hop, media content when I was younger, and I had less shit to give a fuck about. So the older, I feel like just literally the older you getting, the bigger it has to be to bring you back into this. I'm talking about 90 days right now, though. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Well, I don't know, Nate. I think that's also... I don't also, know why you guys stop watching academics. I think that's also just the media pushing them. And honestly, I mean, maybe you just stopped watching it. Yeah, I mean, like, like I, did you just, it sounds like you've yeah. changed. And honestly, nigga. maybe you just stopped. He's doing the same thing. Maybe you just stopped watching it. Maybe you just went through a phase, right? Um, or maybe, <laughs> what if you were confused on why you were watching him during that stint? He doesn't I'm, even I'm know I've never why. been confused while I was watching academics. So why were you watching academics? Because it was entertaining. And is it no longer entertaining to you? It feels like it's not as entertaining as it used to be. Is it feel like it's not? Or In the is last it not? 90 days? I don't think it has been because when I do watch it, I don't stay long at all. I, it's like, I just... I still stand on it. Nigga, you don't I, think he's been entertaining recently? Sounds like the take. Yeah, that's it. But you, you're saying that Have without I not saying said it. that? You haven't said it. You, not exactly. You usually take stronger oh, conventions okay. than this. Like, we keep trying to guess why you're not watching. You're like, oh, gotcha. no, that's, that's not it. You've just been trying to figure out, I guess. I guess you're trying to kind of, kind of come to it right now. Because right. it's that simple. It, yeah, it sounds like he, to it. it's just not entertaining no more. And I, I don't, <laughs> not entertaining. If it's only been 90 days, I don't know if, if that's. A solid reason. Is that long enough? That's because just, which I, is why 90 days strong, is a long which time. Which is why I didn't have a strong take on it. 90 days is a long time, though. That's a long Wait, time 90, to, pre- no, no, to no, be no, bad. No, 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 no. He hasn't been bad for 90 days. I'm saying post-battle. Everything before then, I was watching. Okay. I watched academics consistently over the last year. But since... Well, you, you mean everything pre-battle. Yeah. Everything pre-battle. But I feel like post-battle, also, it's like... Maybe it's because it feels like all the street. Like I feels like it's he just focuses. He's focused for too long on it. The last I don't know. The last year that we've talked about academics, it's just been a like a bunch of bad events that happened in a row, like with his girlfriend. So it's just been a lot of scandalous shit. Last year. So when you say you've been watching academics for the last last year, nigga, everybody has. He was going through shit with his baby mama. That's not his baby mama, but it act like it. He's been going through, like, this is the most coverage he's gotten the last year in his whole career. It seems like this is the most drama he's been in that hasn't been his fault. Oh, this is Some definitely his, that, 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 that hasn't been his fault. I don't know what you mean by you got that. A wild, if you got a wild the, girlfriend, that's your fault. The Kendrick and Drake beef. Yeah, he's as far talking as about shit that's like, not about him personally. I'm talking oh. about, like, as far as academics being in the news and it's not because of him fucking up. It's literally because he's doing what he was meant out to do. Journalism. Journalism, nigga. Which is what he's good at. <laughs> and it's not a big story. And that's the thing. Like, when you're a journalist, even like us, like, sometimes that big story, it, it just come right to you. Like, the big fish just want to bite your hook on that day. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, there's, there's somebody who can say that. I, a, I don't get that comparison at all that you keep trying to make. What comparison? That the story just came to him? Like, what, the, what does that even mean? Like, so, when you... When it's okay because I don't have my thoughts worked out anyway, so yeah, I'm just confused. Say. Well, no, you don't, no, need, you don't know nigga, how you no. feel. He don't know how you feel. <laughs> I, I know how I feel. I don't know how to articulate it. But the point that, like, the, I know that the whole news story that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Pretty much, I do know that. But it's okay. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. I, I didn't have it worked but out. It's. I don't know if anybody else felt the same. Like the beef, he was dragging the beef shit for too long. He had the nigga that was like supposedly uh, buying or faking the views for Not Like Us on. And it was like, all right, nigga, like, this is just too much. Just get back to, like, doing what you do again. But maybe but- maybe what the, the reminder of, like, how good he is at that type of content was, like, <clears throat> it's shown a light on how good he can be, and now the rest of what he's doing doesn't seem to be as good? No, it's you not that. that. Nope. I feel like he's dragging. I was already tried that 
feel like he's dragging. I feel like he dragged it for so long, it turned me off of the channel. But you think mm -hmm. that, like, that's all he was streaming about for nine hours in a day, or was that just a part of what he covered? Was that the... Uh, the bots were not like, like us. Kevin Samuels. Gave, was that the whole stream? Like Kevin Samuels Probably gave not. advice on money, but a lot of his show was talking about hoes. Nigga, he right. opened up with cologne reviews, but nobody it, gives a fuck about that. But and it's one of those things where like, I I I, I can't remember watching academic sh like full stream when he was really no, breaking we, down. I never did that. With the breaking down that. That's, I don't have Twitch. Oh wait, the battle when he was really breaking the battle down, like those eight hour streams. I can't remember watching them. I was them. definitely watching those. Yeah, I was so watching them for sure. I don't know if he was talking about the the battle like for straight three hours. I three oh, to no, four hours. It's impossible. The, There's whoa, not whoa, that much to say. Wait, 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 well, wait. in the midst of the battle, he yeah, was. He was, was talking, battle, yeah. He was talking about it for eight hours straight. But I'm talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. I'm talking about post when he's doing all the little side content, like talking about the okay. dude with the not like us box. Was that the whole day's worth of stream, or did he just touch on that? And that was the biggest nah, that story was a, that you know. Because he was because he interviewed the nigga, so it was a whole stream. And like, he did, does, has he, like even like an off the record, has he has an offer? Has he have, has he had a off the record that's come out that anybody gives a fuck about recently? Well, let's see. Or maybe I missed it. <coughs> oh shit! DJ yeah, Vlad twelve on. days ago. Twelve days, yeah. <coughs> I never finished it. We're I did start watching jobs. this. Ah, oh, damn! All right. Yep. That's the one thing I can say that I watch post battle. Was it entertaining? It, I had notes for this one, and I never put it on the topic sheet. It wasn't entertaining. I never went back. It to had to have been. <laughs> it had to have been. I would think so, but it doesn't sound like he forgot it happened. I didn't even see this. I forgot it happened completely. I didn't see this Twelve days ago. Know. There's something off with his uh, the marketing of this podcast. <laughs> that shit dude just be just it just happens it just happens yeah. Yeah. but I feel like it, it never be... tries to find me. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, Good marketing it tries to find you. It does just happen. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. It seems like a true passion project. It's like finding out your dad has illegitimate children. It also Wait, might just what? be a symptom of already Wait, having passion his... project means something that you take seriously, doesn't it? Yeah. Not necessarily. A little bit more. Well, you're passionate about it, but it's like, it, 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 it's using a couple different terms. Yeah, yeah. It's more of a... It's something more like that, like... Google you the definition don't, of... Because they don't know. Google the definition of passion it's project. It's something more like you don't have an exact defin definitive goal. Like, you're not trying yeah. to make this your business, right. but you are passionate. It's you're just doing like, it to do it. It's another yeah. way of saying hobby. Okay, so it's something that you do in your idle time. Yeah, yeah it's gotcha. another way of saying okay. hobby. So you give us time to work it out. It don't come out perfectly every time. It, it's a work, especially a movie that someone gets involved in because they love it or feel it's very good and important. You're not in order not to, in order to, order make, to money. make money. Yeah. See, gotcha. we yeah, answered okay. that. Boom. Yeah. And off the record is definitely, it, I mean, I don't want to count academics' pockets, but it doesn't seem like off the record is the main bulk of where his money coming from. Hell no. So at that point, no. it, it has to be a passion Twitch project. Like that. Donations. Yeah, donations. Yeah. Yeah. donations. Blessings, nigga. Donations. Come on, man. It's crazy. But, um, but honestly, man, I think you should, you might just have to click on the academics video. You know what I mean? Just jump right into it again. Yeah, just give it the old scout. Maybe try. click on one that has like tons of views too, so you're like, ah, oh, this got to be mm. good. Yeah, valid. Yeah, FOMO. Yeah. Like I need to, I need to re, re buy myself back in. Yeah, in a way. It takes that sometimes. Because I feel like too, you were though. confused as to like why you were really watching them during that why time. Am I not, you, because no, it, I'm not because, confused on why because of we're. everything that was going on around it. No, it was nothing to do. No, I was just saying that's just a marker in time, but. It has nothing to do with the battle. Take that out completely. That's just the date. For that one month, everything before then, I was locked in, whether it was trivial or it was really important news. Ever since then, ever since the battle, I've not in tuned into anything that he's done. And that's all I'm saying. And you don't know why. I want to know. I'm trying to figure out why. It sounds like you burnt out. Possibly. Maybe I'm burnt out. I don't. It might just be one of those things like, have you gone through phases of watching No Jumper? Oh, for sure. Exactly. And it, yeah. it's, it might just be one of those things where, you know. Might be. They got to get some quality up there. Like, I'm just not fucking with it right now. Yeah, like, you used to love Looney Tunes probably, but it's not time for that shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. All right, let's get over to this other nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, had, I literally didn't know. I just didn't know if, I didn't know if it was something subconscious that was affecting. We're playing therapy. <laughs> it was one of them things where you. He was going to try to figure out how he felt based off how you felt. He was like, say something. Nigga. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, it's not I that. It was, I didn't know. You know, sometimes it could be uh, subtle marketing changes that, yeah. that uh, elicit a certain you, response. Exactly. And it's like, is there something that 
is it is am I the only one that feels like for some reason I'm just not casually clicking an academics video? Have, um, that's why I was asking because like, of the battle. Because of like the biggest thing to no, happen in hip hop. No, stop bringing that up. I'm just saying. <laughs> after the it. battle and before the battle, it's different. What the fuck, bro? Leave it yeah, alone, yeah. dude. Hey, it's on, nothing bro. to do with the battle. I'm like, damn, <laughs> stop bringing that shit up, man. Yeah. I'm just saying, post the battle, breathe it. That's it. It's nothing to do with the actual. Nigga told me to save it, David. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. Just, just let me listen to you. <laughs> it's not that. 